The city of Savannah is cracking down on illegal parking, whether it's an abandoned or derelict vehicle or parked on the lawn. It's all part of a master plan to help with one of council's top priorities, neighborhood revitalization. It's to clean up the neighborhoods. It's to beautify Savannah in general. Officer Daryl Norman is with Savannah's Code Compliance Department, hitting the streets for the good of the city. Okay, once again, we have some illegal yard parking going on right over here, and people want their property um, to be valued, you know, so it's an eyesore, um, it's, it's blight for the city, no matter how you look at it, so it's just people have, a lot of people have pride in their neighborhoods and they're tired of these derelict vehicles being all over the place. I see two vehicles that appear to be derelict. Exactly, no tag on this vehicle which automatically makes it a derelict vehicle. I'm with the City of Savannah's Code Compliance Department. Vehicles that are derelict, even if they're on private property like this one, will be towed after three days. So once she posted on the vehicle, it was in compliance. She had a second vehicle that had two flat tires, which is also a part of being derelict, and it had no registration as well. So she did not have a tag for that vehicle, so it was tagged. My next move is to turn her over to a tow company and they will be coming out in a matter of days and towing the vehicle. Officers in code compliance are focused on neighborhood revitalization, one of the city's strategic initiatives. They enforce housing code, sanitation code, zoning code, and property maintenance code, all to provide a safe, clean, and healthy environment. So a lot of times when they see us coming, they think we're the bad guys and we just want to write ticket, but that's not true. We do a lot of educating day to day within our jobs and um, we want the citizens to know that we are on their side. We're not against them, but we do want them to come into compliance. What we have right here is illegal yard parking. As you see, the car is diagonal in the yard instead of parallel. The main thing that I like about my job is because I get to see the fruits of my labor. Sometimes it may take a week, two weeks, sometimes it may take a month or more. But when I go back to these properties and I uh, talk with these residents and they eventually see that what I'm trying to do is for the good of all and I'm not, not just picking on uh, a particular segment of the population, it's everyone in all the neighborhood has to comply. Every day when you get up and come to work, that you're, you're making a difference, you know, because if you keep going down those same streets and you don't see any improvement, then you, you feel like you're beating a dead horse. But when you see people coming into compliance, I think everyone in my office I can speak for, we're extremely happy to see that. You should also be checking your latest utility bill. Either you've received it or it is coming. There will be a full insert with lots of information regarding the city's fight against blight, all part of neighborhood revitalization.